In the last video, we introduced the speed torque plane. And in this video, we're going to talk about the mechanical power produced by a motor and the electrical power consumed by a motor. Now, the mechanical power that's produced by a motor is just the product of the torque and the angular velocity. So up here in the top right quadrant, where both the torque and angular velocity are positive, and down here in the third quadrant, where they're both negative, the product of the two is going to be positive. So here, the motor is producing mechanical power. Here, it's producing mechanical power. But in these two quadrants, two and four, uh, one is positive, one is negative. So the motor is actually consuming mechanical power, basically acting something like a damper. So producing power, consuming power for mechanical. Now, if we talk about the electrical power, and we'll usually talk about the consumption, it's just the current through the motor times the voltage. Now, to be able to visualize the electrical power consumed by a motor, it'll be helpful to draw the speed torque curve where the voltage is equal to zero. And so that's just going to be a curve that looks something like this intersecting here at zero. And so this is the V equals zero speed torque curve. Then everything on this side is positive voltage, and everything on this side is negative voltage. And we know that the current is directly proportional to torque. So everything going this way is positive current, and everything going this way is negative current. So now we can evaluate where IV is greater than zero. And it's greater than zero if both I and V are positive. So we're somewhere above here, and um, the current is somewhere to the right. So the voltage is above here, the current is to the right. And so that draws out this region here. So IV greater than zero consuming electrical power. We're going to draw with this hash mark. And then if IV are both negative, and that's going to be where the voltage is below here and the current is on this side, then we're also, we have a product IV that's greater than zero. So we're consuming electrical power. But that leaves these two regions where I and V have opposite signs, and I'll hatch them like this. And this is where IV is less than zero. And that's producing electrical power. And we usually call this regeneration. So just like hybrid or brakes on a hybrid car convert mechanical energy to electrical energy by regeneration, that's what's happening in these regions of the speed torque plane. So here and here, we're actually producing electrical power not consuming it. Now, this slope of the speed torque curve is just given by minus r over kt squared. So if r increases or kt decreases, the slope is going to get larger, will become more vertical, and then the region where we're regenerating, where we're creating electrical power is going to shrink until eventually, uh, if we're perfectly vertical, then there's no region where we're regener regenerating at all and the motor is essentially acting like a resistor.